Hey guys, Snoopy here, and I know it's been a little while since I uploaded a video, but um, I wanted to show you something that I've been working away at in the background. So this is a GamePro version for uh, the Nintendo Switch, um, and I'm going to be trialling some software I've been working on in uh, Sword and Shield, uh, basically for um, just random shiny encounters. So um, and actually, I'm still working on the uh, on the software side of things. So. Um, I'm just in Visual Studios at the moment, this is what I use to develop all of my software. Um, but I'm just going to run this and we'll see how things are going. So, just bring that over here. Um, yeah, that's the right camera. Yep. And okay, so. Um, one of the features in Sword and Shield is if you, or well, the more of a Pokemon that you battle or defeat, um, it increases your chances of finding a shiny, I think up to about 500 um, times on Pokemon defeated, I think that's where it maxes out. Um, so I built something into the software where you can um, faint the wild Pokemon if you want to, or you can just run away. Um, so you can do either, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select two Paint the Pokemon, and the way I've done it, is I've just put it so that you put in the um, how much PP your first Pokemon has, and it'll just go until your first Pokemon is exhausted all its PP, and then from then on it'll just run. Um, but I was thinking there might be a better way to do it, um, potentially with like a Pokemon that has a recycle ability or harvest with a um, whichever berry it is that restores your PP. I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, if anyone has any suggestions for um, how that could be done, let me know down in the comments. But otherwise, I'm just going to punch in some numbers here. Cool. And oops, sorry, I'll just bring this over onto the screen. So basically, what it will do is the your character will just sit there. So I haven't um, completely developed the control of the um, joystick yet, but. Um, yeah, as you can see for this, it, you don't actually need it because you can just um, sit in one place and then the Pokemon will, Pokemon will come to uh, come to you. So, um, what I'll do is I'll just let this run through a couple of times and I'll I'll explain how the software is designed to work. So you can see there's a bunch of text that's basically come up on the screen here. Um, so I'll, I'll explain what it is um, going through here. So you can see the first thing was. Um, encounter detected. So basically what's looking for at the moment on here is when the screen goes white um, and that's when it knows that an encounter has been detected. So hopefully it doesn't take too long for one of those little rolly collies to come walking over. There we go, bang, screen goes white and now you see these two red lines. So it's looking for the text box that comes up. Um, and what I've discovered is the wild Pokemon's text appears, then disappears and then some text comes up saying for when your Pokemon comes out. And um, when the shiny encounter occurs, the, the text comes up for the wild Pokemon, it disappears, and then it does the shiny animation before your Pokemon's text comes up. So there's a much longer delay between the two. Um, so what I've got here, you can see all, all, all the things that um, the camera's basically picking up on. So it finds the wild, um, Oh, sorry, the encounter is detected when the screen goes white, then it finds the wild Pokemon text, and then it identifies when that disappears, so that's what these two red lines are doing. Bang, it disappears, and then your Pokemon text appears. So that's really quick. So that's what this time diff is measuring. That's in milliseconds. So 223 milliseconds, or um, 0.2 seconds, basically. So one-fifth of a second, or thereabouts. Um, when it's a shiny encounter, that takes around about two seconds, uh, so it's, it's much longer because of that animation, uh, and that's what it's using to um, determine when the shiny occurs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it running. You can see we've got looped through three encounters. It doesn't take too long um, doing it on this basis, just waiting for them to base, walk into you. Here we go, there's another encounter now. Um, and you can see the total PP that my Pokemon had was 70, so it'll keep knocking them out um, until it's knocked out 70 wild Pokemon um, and then it will just start running from them but as I said if anyone's got any ideas how to um, make something basically indefinitely be able to um, keep knocking out Pokemon let me know 
because um, that's something I'd be able to build into the software. So we'll uh, leave that going for now and we'll come back and check on it a little bit later and uh, see if we've had any luck. Okay, so I started this on Monday. It is now Friday and I have done... 12,383 encounters, still no luck. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, and we are back, and as you can see, there's a nice, beautiful, blue, shiny rolly collie on the screen. Uh, so obviously the software worked, but let me tell you, it was uh, it was a real struggle. So um, if I just show you what's going on my screen here, my um, screen capture software doesn't like to record my laptop for some reason, but um, so you can see here this is, 6,800 encounters um, but in reality I actually got up to 32,000 encounters so I, the software ran um, non-stop for a week and a half basically and I just yeah had no luck whatsoever um, so I was thinking something must have been going wrong so I disconnected it and looked through the software to try and see what potentially was causing the issue and couldn't find anything so I set it up again um, and it took another 6,000 encounters and has finally found the shiny so I don't know if it was just bad luck or if something was actually going wrong but I didn't change anything so um, but anyway what I wanted to point out so you can see here this time diff um, so you can see you can just see these red lines and the uh, the text box here it's just starting to fade so um, it's obviously recorded the time difference between the, the two text boxes um, appearing and that's picked up um, the, the shiny animation and it's changed this time diff from around about um, 200 milliseconds to 2000 so around about two seconds so that's the that's the increase that it's looking for with the shiny encounter and when it's seen that it's stopped um, well you can see it's frozen exactly here um, where it was supposed to um, when it's had that uh, that shiny encounter so yeah the software worked fine and this is actually it's the third time i've run it. it's the third, third shiny rolly collie that i've found um the last two hunts took around about 2000 encounters so i don't know why this one took so much longer probably just because i was trying to create a video but anyway um proof that it works probably still needs a, a couple of refinements but there you go first uh, video with the um game pro for the nintendo switch um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, um, feel free to give it a like. It may even encourage me to make a few more like this. Um, but until next time, see ya.